have kidney disease stage 3 or 4, eating just about 6 grams of this superfood every day will really boost your kidney health. Catherine from Double O Kidney here, welcome to our journey together to a better kidney health. Having worked with people suffering from kidney disease for 8 years now, there is one thing I can tell you for sure. Kidney disease can go backwards even in stage 4. I've met people who are able to do just that. It's not easy, right? But the combined effect of the seven very easy good habits can have a huge positive impact on your kidney health. Some of these good habits will help in the long run, while some others, like our number seven for example, can give you visible results immediately. Let's see it. Number seven, take a multivitamin every day. Fact, patients following a renal diet are way more at risk for vitamin deficiencies compared to the general population. And there is no way you can get kidney disease into remission if you're malnourished. But getting all the nutrients you need is not always easy when you have to follow a diet made to help the kidneys get better, such as a low protein diet or an alkaline diet. So, question should be taking a multivitamin and who shouldn't? Ideally, you should be checked before starting to take a multivitamin. However, some deficiencies are so common in people with kidney problems you can almost be sure you have them unless you are specifically supplementing. Vitamin B12, for example, is particularly hard to get because the best sources of these nutrients are dairy and meat, and they're both out of the menu. Same for vitamin D. Up to 90% of people in stage 4 kidney disease have low levels of this vitamin. This is why taking a multivitamin every day can be literally a lifesaver. What many people don't know is that taking the right vitamins also has a noticeable detoxing effect on the kidneys. So if you want to detox your kidneys, focus on getting enough B vitamins. They are key to help the kidneys get rid of excess water and sodium. Vitamin B6 in particular works with the kidneys to help the body flush toxins from the system. In fact, studies show that taking vitamin B6 may even relieve symptoms such as water retention and swelling in the legs. If you want to know more, I'll talk about the best vitamin supplements for kidney disease in this video up here. Now guys, as I was telling you, people with kidney problems should ideally get tested for vitamin deficiencies. But I know that many won't. Do you want to know why? Because of good habit number six. Number six, avoid iatrophobia. <laughs> no, don't worry, it's not a swear word. Iatrophobia is just the fear of doctors and medical tests. Yes, this fear is so common it even has its own name. Some people avoid doctors for fear of a diagnosis. Others may be afraid of needles or blood. All these fears are really common, but just because they're common it doesn't mean they're not dangerous. Being afraid of medical tests may even mean not doing necessary tests. But if you have kidney disease, you need to know everything about your kidneys for your doctor to be able to adjust your medications. So if you want to get kidney disease into remission, do all the tests your doctor orders. And also, Good habit number five, focus on knowing yourself. The medical world has been fermenting with ideas and innovations in the last years. If you follow me here regularly, you may already know about the incredible properties of astragalus, for example. 
it was used in a recent study to significantly slow down kidney disease progression in patients in stage 4 and 5. But I have also talked about AST120. This is a prescription detoxifier which can seriously help getting rid of uremic toxins and repair the kidneys. And also Cordyceps, an ancient remedy with anti-inflammatory properties so powerful it has been approved in some countries for the treatment of heart problems. But there are many others I've talked about too, vitamins, probiotics, omega-3s and more. Okay, these are a lot of remedies. So big question here, should you be using all of them or just a few or none? Well, the only way to tell is by knowing yourself better. Just by spending time watching my videos, you are already doing the first step, which is getting informed about these remedies. The second step will be to find the perfect balance of nutrition, supplements and medical treatment. This largely depends on what is causing damage to your kidneys. For example, for someone with kidney disease caused by diabetes, a good doctor will recommend alpha lipoic acid and cordyceps to lower insulin resistance and protect the kidneys from excess blood sugar. For someone who wants to bring down creatinine levels fast, a good doctor will recommend astragalus and danshen. For someone with high blood pressure, hibiscus tea and garlic will be recommended. Now that I think about it, garlic is something I would recommend everyone. Actually, if you have kidney disease stage 3 or 4, eating just about 6 grams of this superfood every day will really boost your kidney health for many different reasons. Because the aim here is to eradicate your root cause of kidney damage. This way, kidney disease does not have a leg to stand on. But not all doctors recommend this kind of treatments, even when there are studies confirming that they work and that they have less side effects than conventional therapies. So practice the good habit of learning about your condition, just like you are doing right now. And let me know in comment section if you want to know more about what treatment works for each cause of kidney disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, kidney stones, autoimmune diseases. This could be an interesting video, maybe even a series. So let me know. Number four, here's something you should seriously be avoiding if your aim is to reverse stage three and four chronic kidney disease. Meat and protein rich foods. Fact, the less protein you eat, the better chance you are going to have to reverse kidney disease. Okay, okay, maybe I've put this in not so delicate way, but it's crucial, in my opinion, to raise the awareness about one of the worst causes of kidney damage in the world. Because even doctors get this wrong way more often than they should. I've seen doctors here on YouTube recommending people with kidney disease to follow a ketogenic diet. What? I'm not even kidding and I can link it to you if you don't believe me. They probably just don't know that eating meat, fish, dairy and other protein sources is a sure cause of kidney damage even for someone just in stage 3 of CAD. This was proven by a large review of studies. So start the good habit of limiting protein intake if you are in stage 3 of CKD. Find a competent doctor that can prescribe you a very low protein diet if you are in stage 4 or 5 pre-dialysis. Now, here is something many of you guys don't know about yet. This is probably the most overlooked bad habit in the world. Now guys, before I'll show you what it is, here is something that can give your kidneys an immediate boost. A lot of kidney disease patients are using this program to improve their kidney function and lower their creatinine levels. There are some very inspiring success stories here on Double O Kidney. People are reversing their kidney disease thanks to what they're learning from this program.
If you want to give a fast boost to your kidney health, you should consider downloading it. I'm leaving a link down in the description. Check it out to know more! Number 3. Avoid sitting all day. It's a fact that sitting too many hours a day can seriously damage the kidneys and very few people know it. So if you know anyone that has heart or kidney problems, send them this video now. Stopping this bad habit can seriously help. According to several studies, sitting all day doesn't just make your back hurt, it can cause dementia, heart disease, diabetes, stroke, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. Yes, this is why some researchers are starting to consider seeding the new smoking. Scientists first noticed something was up in a study that compared two similar groups, transit drivers who sit most of the day and train conductors who don't. Though their diets and lifestyles were a lot alike, those that sat were about twice as likely to get heart disease and to die prematurely as those that stood. In fact, sitting for too much time is also associated with deep vein thrombosis. This is a type of blood clot that's most common in the legs. This is a medical emergency. So think about getting a standard desk or consider our good habit number two, one of the most helpful thing you can get in the habit of doing if you want to make kidney disease stage three and four go in reverse. Number two, find a way to exercise that you can enjoy. You might be putting off exercising as you don't like going to the gym or running in the cold weather. Instead, why not choose fun exercises like dancing, yoga, or a group lesson? When exercise is fun, you have much more motivation to do it regularly. Regularity is key here because, and this is important, according to a study, regular workouts are proven to slow down kidney disease. Okay, okay, what did I say? Proven. In the medical world, nothing is ever proven except for, yes, exercising and kidney health. In fact, today's guidelines tell even dialysis patients to exercise regularly, even while doing dialysis. And for those of you guys that really want to improve their kidney function, consider that improved circulation will directly increase the rate blood is filtered through the kidneys, so it will basically improve kidney function. Other proven benefits of exercising include lowering blood pressure, lowering cholesterol, keeping a healthy body weight, and improving sleep. All of this is crucial for kidney health. Just Avoid hitting the gym and avoid doing heavy lifts and very strenuous activities in general. Always keep it low impact, easy and regular unless you are already used to heavier workouts. Number one, detox your medicine cabinet. Fact, more than 250,000 people are killed by medical errors annually in the United States, making medical errors the third leading cause of death. Obviously, those more at risk are patients with a chronic illness who need to take several medications per day. Interactions between medications are very dangerous. What to do? Well, I will never tell you not to take the medications your doctor prescribes you but they should be an adjunct to lifestyle improvements rather than a replacement of personal responsibility for our health. There are medications to lower cholesterol, blood glucose, and other kidney disease risk factors, and they work. But time and time again, I have seen that people with kidney problems who take steps to improve their health naturally look and feel better. Their quality of life is far superior. They're thinner, more physically fit, more energetic, and happier. 
what you can achieve in short from natural lifestyle based approaches has no drug substitute and the very easy exercising program I've developed for people with kidney problems is the very best when it comes to get results fast. Maybe this is the right time to check it out if you already haven't. Okay guys, as usual, a new video is coming next Friday. I hope to see you there. In the meantime, keep taking good care of your kidneys and be good to yourself. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.